What's going on everybody? It's Sage from Homebrew for Life here to make a video we've actually never done before. You saw the title, you know why we're here. And today we're gonna make Pruno. No, I'm just kidding. Short circuited Brian was on the Hoppy Hour a week or two ago, and he'll actually be on this Thursday as well. That's a channel where we talk about beer, we talk about beer trends, we talk about product reviews, the good, the bad, and the overpriced ugly. And we also talk a ton about production. Even if you're not a YouTuber, people have interest of maybe what camera should I buy or what microphone should I buy or maybe I do want to start a YouTube channel and it's kind of an interesting topic. When we were talking about how we watch other homebrew channels, I mean sure we're watching their tutorial or their experiment or their grain to glass video or their review, we're also paying attention to the production of the video. And when I'm talking about production, I'm talking about everything. Not just the camera, not just the video. Anybody with a good smartphone nowadays can shoot video. I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about the audio. I'm talking about the lighting, the software, XLR versus 3.5 millimeter jacks, mixers, music, copyright infringements, frame rate, AKA slow motion, teleprompters, graphics, fonts, was that After Effects or Apple Motion? Or was it just keyframing with Photoshop? Shotgun mics versus lav mics. Workflow. You got two kids, you have two toddlers at home. How do you edit? When do you edit? Some guys have to wake up at 4 a.m. before their family's up just to get a couple hours in. How many cameras are going on at once? Typically we do two. Three is like next level. That's a very engaging YouTube video. Or television program. Damn, I'm sweating. Space. How well do you utilize your space? How well do you utilize your room, your, your man cave, your kitchen, your apartment? What do you have to work with? And I'm watching, I'm like, damn, this guy's got a chest freezer in an apartment or in his kitchen. Gives me ideas. I could put one in the master. I could put one in my bathroom. So we talked about making this video. Here's the video. What am I using right now? I mean, I'm talking into an Audio Technica. This is XLR. I think it's the 2035 2035 XLR. I absolutely love this thing. I use it as a shotgun mic. We're gonna do a tour of my shitbox apartment and go into the garage and talk about how we make homebrew for life videos. And so I'm on that. I'm on this microphone. It's connected to a it's connected to a Rode mic stand. I've had this thing for years. I love this. You can connect it to a USB mic, XLR, doesn't matter. Pretty much comes down to the shock mount. I'm on a Mac right now. I have a PC to my right. This is what powers the hoppy hour. This is a stream or OBS or Streamlabs, kind of the same thing. My Mac cannot use it. And this is what fuels the hoppy hour every Wednesday night. So subscribe to that channel or I'll get you. This is probably my favorite thing that I own right here. This is a Zoom H6 handy recorder. It's a recorder, it's a mixer, it's mobile. When I'm doing the intros or the outros, I'll bring this into the garage connected to the microphone out there and it's got its own memory card. If I could not connect the audio to the actual camera itself, I'll take that any day because it's always better if it just goes to a, a recorder or a mixer or something like that. I love this thing. It's about 300 bucks. I've never had a problem with it. I don't know if I need the Zoom H6. I know there's like Zoom H4s or whatever, but I've never had a problem with this. It's great for podcasting. If you wanted to have four people on a podcast, that sounds obnoxious. Just imagining four people on a podcast talking over each other gives me anxiety, but you can do it. You can do it with this. This is my Elgato Stream Deck right here. This is for the hoppy hour. Push a button, sound effects. Boom, boom, boom. Come here! Get over here! Get over here! Smoking weed, drinking beers, drinking beers, beers, beers. Tom Alvarado, what up you brunch? Eric Lane, what's up brunch? Push a button, cuts over to different scenes, whatever you create. That's kind of a different beast learning about broadcasting software. But uh, I love this thing. It works really well when you're streaming. As far as the camera goes, this is just a, I think a $50 Logitech C922X camera. It works good. I've got a little $30 Amazon light right here, but right now there's natural light and I don't have to worry about putting up any lighting or anything like that. This is good enough as long as I shoot in the daytime. Even at nighttime, if I turn this slide on, that's the hoppy hour. We shoot a lot of voiceover. And this is where it is. This is exactly where it is. It's going to Audio Technica, going into my Zoom H6, and then it's got, well, this is connected to the computer. So it's gonna save to the computer. But if I was outside, it would be saving to a memory card. Got an external hard drive right here. I put everything on an external hard drive. Keep it on your external hard drive and your computer will not lag as much. So that's kind of it. We'll take you through the room. And right now we're gonna switch to 
a Sony A6000. And it's not gonna sound as good because we're gonna be using a built-in mic. Here we go. All right, Sony A6000, let's rock and roll. Here's the, here's the PC right here. We've got some capture cards. We're trying to do a thing Sunday nights where we're playing Mario Kart, Drunken Mario Kart, uh, Elgato, stuff like that. I'm a big fan. We've got some games up here. Nintendo Switch. It's not really homebrew for life. That's more of the hobby hour stuff. Got some tripods right here. These tripods work okay if the camera isn't too heavy. If you have maybe a mirrorless or a GoPro or a smartphone or something like that. What do we got over here? We got a ton of cords over here. That's it. XLR mics. Probably some XLR cables in here. Yep. USB stuff. This is going to be the lab stuff. Got the Rode Link. And we've got the Sennheiser. We actually got sent that from uh, Gorgeous George. He's abroad. Check him out on Instagram. Right down here. I don't even know what this is. Xbox 360. No. They're looking for that. Save that for later. All right, so over here, this is pretty much our main camera. This is a Sony A7 II. I bought this a couple years ago. It works okay. Cameras I'm not too worried about. Any good camera's gonna, gonna work. That's probably the least thing you have to worry about. Rode, shotgun mic. I try not to use this, but if it's quick B-roll stuff, then I'll just connect this to the camera. Obviously, it's not XLR, it's 3.5 millimeter. This is the shit right here. This is um, Sony Zeiss 1.8 something lens we use this lens when we shoot straight on and you can tell the difference like this is the b-roll camera right here usually we have this on the main subject and somebody else will be shooting b-roll and i can tell the difference night and day but hopefully the majority of the people watching cannot these things are awesome these uh kind of i bought these things when covid was going full time and this way you don't really need another camera guy you could just put one of these on its own tripod and see what you're doing. You could have a camera set like down and then have an external monitor straight up and you can see what's going on because some cameras, they have like the LCD screen that flips around. My cameras do not. I keep the boxes for everything. Some stuff you just grow out of and you want to flip. If you keep the boxes, it's going to make a couple more bucks on eBay. And if you're selling on Facebook or offer up one of those things, it's going to sell faster. So, Keep the box, keep the box clean. It gives the potential buyer peace of mind. Here's kind of the schedule. Some of the stuff will be made videos of and some of the stuff probably will never be made videos of. We have by far the worst content strategy on YouTube for any brewing channel. If you wanna grow a channel fast, just do grain to glass videos, but I'll do a grain to glass video and then I'll do three food videos in a row and they bomb, but don't be like us. Grain to glass. Be consistent, grow your channel. This room has to stay clean. The rest of the house could be a mess, but I need this room to be clean, to edit, to get into a video, and maybe, you know, to avoid distractions. This room has to be clean, and it's not clean. There's dog hair everywhere. I don't even have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes on in this room. We do not utilize this room. That's a genus t-shirt right there, check that out. Here's my bathroom, this is where I have my dinner, this is where I eat my dino nuggets. It's a small spot, but we utilize, check it out. Ooh. Yeah, doing a collab with Trent. There's my hallway light. Oh, that's too bright. Gonna do a Mr. Beard blind taste contest video. And just, you know, instruction video. So we utilize pretty much everything. Everything's pretty much a studio. Aside from the bathroom, aside from the where I sleep, I don't even sleep in there. I sleep on my couch right here. But everything's pretty much utilized. Like right here we'll do our blind taste contest videos and then obviously in the kitchen this is where we shoot all of our food videos that nobody watches and we'll have the camera set up probably like right here. This will be the Sony a7 II. I'll have somebody else be filming over here. Generally it's going to be Maury or me, people come over and they're like, this is way smaller than I thought. I'm like, I, I don't know how that works. You see something on TV or YouTube and it looks so big and you show up, you're like, this is crazy small. So that's it. This is it. I got some artwork. I got like a seven year old bottle of whiskey I'm waiting to crack when I get, I don't know, 30,000 YouTube subscribers. This is where I play video games, golf set, check. 
artwork, check. Tripods right here, these are the tripods. Here's our monopods. These are cool if you want to be a little bit mobile, but you still want the stability. These are the Amazon basic stuff, very cheap. Very cheap, 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 cheap. All right, so we're out here in the garage slash brew house slash intro outro room, man. This is kind of it. This is small. This is a single car garage. Got all the retro stuff up here. There's my mill. PlayStation, GameCube, Dreamcast, OG. Brand new PlayStation 2 controller. Who's got one of those besides me? Glass Carboys, AKA the worst things that are on planet Earth. Brew stuff over here, brew stuff over here, brew stuff over here, corny kegs over here. So we've got two studio lights. Typically this one's gonna be more up in the rafters or it is gonna be in the rafters, but we have to pull it down for the food videos because we have, in the kitchen we have natural light on one side but nothing on the other. So I'll put one down to pick up the slack. But um, this is it, we got the green screen. There used to be kind of just this empty makeshift storage closet right here that was just a super gnarly eyesore. You can see that in some of the older videos. And this is where we set it up. So I've got my microphone tripod right here. I'll put the Audio Technica mic to it and I'll connect it to that Zoom H6 and I'll record it to that and then I'll film it pretty much four or five feet right in front of me and we'll do all the intros and the outros and that's pretty much it. We've got like four or five intros that I try to recycle through. We do like the outtake one. Today we're gonna, today we're gonna, then I do like the channel surfing one, like the old like click, 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 click. Hi, my name is Phil. Uh, most of my friends call me Big Phil. I love her so. Z-H-Z-H-Z-H-Z-H! And we do maybe like a slow motion. Start it off with slow motion and play some Final Fantasy VII music or Chrono Trigger or something. Retro, 80s, 90s, Super Nintendo, 8-bit, Double Dragon, Turtles, Mega Man. A lot of Mega Man. I'm definitely trying to make a habit of putting up more pictures in my house. There's just way too many pictures online and not enough pictures in people's homes anymore. And it's weird, you go on Instagram, or Facebook and within 10 or 20 seconds, right? This is the most obnoxious shit I've ever seen in my entire life. Adults my age, I went to the gym. Here's a sunset, here's my food. Now I'm on a boat, now I'm next to a waterfall. It's like, you take that same picture and you put it in someone's house or you frame it. And it's like, whoa, this is cool. This is actually like, tell me the story behind this. So with that being said, I'm gonna go post a selfie to overcompensate how bankrupt my life is in real life and to overcompensate for my small penis. All right, back to good audio. It's actually a new day. I just ran, I feel great. As far as software goes, I use three things. Photoshop for all the thumbnails. We're definitely due for a photo shoot. I recycle way too much of the old stuff, but that's just, uh, I don't know, Photoshop. ScreenFlow to get all the snippets that I steal. Everything that I steal comes from ScreenFlow, and I think that's proprietary to Mac. I believe. And as far as editing software goes, I've used them all. iMovie, Final Cut, Premiere, GoPro Studio. And to be honest with you, I don't think it matters. However you tell the story through video is however you tell the story through video. It doesn't matter if you're making a tutorial on how to tie your shoes or if you're making a big blockbuster movie with a giant budget. To me, it's all the same tools, cut, blade, detach audio, transitions, fade to black, opacity, scale in, slow motion, et cetera, et cetera. But I use Final Cut Pro. The most important thing in editing is just to organize your files. And it could take a lot of time going through 10 or 20 gigabytes when you're only gonna use like 10 or maybe 20% of that footage. Now, do you need all these things to make YouTube videos? No, not at all. This is just the stuff that we've accumulated over the last three, four years. So that's it. That's how we make YouTube videos. Thank you so much if you've made it this far. We are gonna be on the hoppy hour tonight, Wednesday, every Wednesday, and sometimes Thursdays. I wanna try to do just me on Wednesday, and then I'm gonna try to have a guest for Thursdays. And that's it. Thank you. Cheers to eating good, and cheers to drinking good.